Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay back in here with another lit reaction video. Today, we got top 10 romance anime to binge watch, bro. I didn't cut my hair off, bro. I got a new look going with the cornrows, man. I haven't had these in a while. My hair's been growing, so I feel like I want to grow it a little bit more, so I'm put it in this style. But yeah, man, let's get into the video. Eh, real life relationships are overrated anyway. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 romance anime to binge watch. <laughs> <laughs> For this list, we'll be. I never heard of that one. I heard of this one right here. Looking at the anime with substantial romantic elements to them, that would make for great viewing experiences for casual and hardcore fans alike. <laughs> Number 10. Boarding School Juliet. Never heard of it. Interesting. Move over here to my usual spot. I usually hear about stuff like that, bro. Two households, both alike in dignity, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. Though, not exactly. This rom-com is very much a clear deviation from the Bard's Great Tragedy, since instead of opposing families, we now have two dorms, each filled with students from neighboring nations, constantly battling it out in school-based competitions. And at the center of these shenanigans, a muscle-bound goofball and a dainty yet determined flower, who find themselves hopelessly in love in a world that won't accept it. <laughs> Literally did nothing, bro. Between the pair constantly trying to keep their relationship hush hush, along with Inuzuka and Perzia's personal arcs, there's a lot to enjoy here. Now hurry up and give us a season two. <laughs> Number nine, Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. <laughs> Hey, if you came across a beautiful girl wandering around, invisible to everyone but yourself, who happened to be wearing a bunny girl costume, your interest would be piqued as well. Of course. Who wouldn't, bro? After encountering fellow student and famed actor Mai, Sakata is thrown into the world of adolescent syndrome, a condition that quickly starts to affect the people in his life in the oddest of ways, ranging from body doubles, shifting personalities, and even reversing time. <laughs> Of course. Oh man, now they go with that scandal stuff again. They always doing that. See somebody together, they just assume that they're dating automatically off top. Of course, the anime's true treasure is Sakta and Mai's relationship, which, while not the most physically passionate, is deeply moving nonetheless. Number eight, monthly girls. I've seen this, bro. It's just like it was, just like teasing master. I don't remember the name of this uh, anime, bro. I'm about to say show, but yeah, anime show. But I don't remember the name of it. it was master some teasing? It was like the same thing, bro. Like except he was just acting clueless the whole, like the whole series, bro. It didn't make sense. Then at the last uh last episode, they were watching the fireworks together. That's what happened on the other anime too, bro. And then they went in for the kiss. One season is not gonna do it, bro. That's BS. Nozaki kun. And I watched it this year, bro. What was this in 2014? When I was 11, I was like watching, watching anime, bro. I watch it. I'm back watching, watching it. But I I laid off it like a, for like four years, bro. And now I'm back. I never saw this anime back then, bro. That's crazy. It's that classic love story. Girl loves guy, confesses her feelings, only for said guy to confuse her for a fan since he's actually a renowned shoujo author who is staggeringly bad at reading the room. <laughs> Yo, that was like, dang. 
You mistake her for a fan. Despite the mixed messages between them, Chiyo still decides to assist her crush with his manga, with their daily encounters and misadventures often serving as his creative muse for his next project. While Nozaki may struggle to comprehend that a girl actually likes him for him, at least watching their odd coupling and collaborations makes for a fun. Sorry guys, I'm gonna skip this because I've already seen it. I know everything to know about this show. I watched this one too, bro. That one, I ain't gonna lie, that one was good. How they were like rivals and then they wind up falling in love with each other and everything like that. That was good. Skipping, sorry. I haven't seen this one. What's this? This next one. Orange. Yes, I have. She went back in time to stop. I'm not even gonna spoil it for who for people who haven't seen it. I haven't seen this. Yona of the Dawn. It's got all the makings of a classic fantasy adventure anime. A determined heroine willing to do anything to protect the people of her kingdom, ancient warfare, contrasting cultures, and a slew of diverse yet equally investing members of a kick-ass reverse harem. Reverse harem? There's certainly a lot more fighting here than you'd expect to see in your average romance, but with such a strong, kind, and lovable lead like Yona at the helm, everything fits together seamlessly. Let's be honest though, Hawk will always be best boy. Number 4. Recovery of an MMO Junkie one of the most realistic, mature, and refreshing relationships ever to be portrayed in the modern anime scene. And wouldn't you know it, it was born from a midlife crisis and an MMORPG. After quitting her job and dedicating herself to the neat lifestyle, Moriko finds herself forming a close bond with a fellow player online. Though unknown to both of them that in real life, they're of the opposite gender. From there, our two hapless gamers attempt to conquer the hardest quest of them all, real life. <laughs> okay, I might actually check this one out, I ain't gonna lie. Looks pretty interesting, not gonna even count. I'm checking this out right after I get done with this video. It's sweet, it's relatable, and we'll be damned if Moriko isn't the most darling waifu of them all. Even if she's always a step away from a breakdown. Number 3. Yuri on Ice. Come for the extravagant, beautifully choreographed routines in the rink. Stay for the blossoming love story between the skater and his coach that ended up breaking the internet. Whoa, whoa, what is this, bro? What is this? <laughs> it's a, I never heard about this, bro. What is this, man? Pulled back into the world of competitive skating, Yuri is not only given the chance to pursue his passion all the way to the nationals, but finds himself falling head over heels for the silver fox that is Victor. It's easily one of the most engrossing and pure portrayals of an LGBTQ plus romance to date. One more than worthy of your attention if you have yet to experience it. Number two, B stars. Where's season two, man? Now you know season two, bro. Where is the freaking season two of uh not bro? It's come on, man. Come on, what's the name of what's Meliodas? Uh, bro, what are the names? Bro, what is the name of the show? Oh my god, bro. What the heck? I watched it multiple times. What's the name of it? Freak, bro. I, I literally watched That's one of my favorite animes. How am I not thinking of the name? It's crazy. 
Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah. Where is the second, bro? Where's the second season, bro? Stop the BS. Sorry, guys, I had to skip the number one because I already saw it and I'm waiting on season two. Love isn't easy, but who knew it could be so hilarious? Despite clearly being enraptured by one another, both Kaguya and Miyuki refuse to express their feelings and instead use all their genius cunning in order to try and get the other to confess first, often with explosive consequences. I haven't seen anything like this before. The characters are a joy to behold, their interactions ranging from heartfelt to hysterical at a moment's notice. Plus, it has one of the best supporting casts of all time. While we're all rooting for these two, we're hoping we get another season of misadventures before someone finally drops the L word. That's still there! Wait a minute. So they already had a season, nobody said. That's worse than teasing sh uh, freaking anime, bro. It's way worse. They didn't even say it in one season, bro. Like, what's going on, man? It's getting ridiculous. <laughs> Do you agree with our pick? <laughs> bro, whatever, whatever, man. Like, that's all for this video, man. Like, and to all these uh, anime creators, bro. Drop the next season of shows, bros. And stop making tw just 12 episodes one season. That's it. Then you cancel the whole show if it's a hit. That doesn't make sense. Why? Like, why? Like, bro, this is getting me, like, seriously mad, bro. Like, what's going on, bro? Like, they be tweaking. But uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, bro. And I'm out of here. Peace.